Yeah, hi. Uh, so we have puppies from local breeders, uh, which is breeders in Georgia. Not usually not very far from where we are. It's usually within an hour, two hours distance of uh, driving. And uh, these puppies are picked up in uh, my personal car with the uh, AC and heat, uh, which is a very comfortable situation. Uh, we bring them home, bring them to our uh, location. Uh, first thing we do is we call a veterinarian to come and see them. In the meantime, we wash them, uh, groom them, do everything that they need. Uh, so the veterinary comes in, he, he checks every one of them that up and uh, make sure that everything is okay. Uh, if the vaccines are due, the warmings and whatever, all of that gets taken care of on a spot when the vet is here. So all our puppies are checked by a veterinarian. They get uh, vaccines, the warmings. Um, they uh, get also the microchips. Uh, on them so when you take one home they already have microchips they all have the health certificates they all have the uh, uh, birth certificates registrations they have everything all our puppies again come from local breeders not like most stores I actually I don't know any store that works the same way we do I know many stores but they all do one thing they go and order from a website uh, which is uh, a broker okay and uh, they get whatever they want they may want three sitsus three two poodles two chihuahuas four pit bulls three german shepherds whatever they get whatever they want uh you know from the website we don't do that we go to the breeder we get the whole litter we don't leave one puppy behind all puppies come with us so they all together, when they get separated from the mom, they at least have each other. Uh, the other places, no, it's two here, two there, two here, two there. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is that these puppies uh, come from puppy mills, huge farms, okay? There's, and they usually locate in Pennsylvania, Missouri, uh, Kentucky. They're all over the country. These are places that I know that they are but uh, I'm sure they're in other places, but they are coming from far, and that's the problem. The problem is when you put in these uh, puppies in trailers to be delivered throughout the country, that means these puppies are in that transportation situation for days sometimes, sometimes days. And you imagine how scary it is for them being in cages that way without seeing anything and going through that the process which is bumpy long dark stressful uh, they cannot get any attention so therefore many of these puppies actually get sick on the trailers they are transported by trailers like livestock trailers uh, similar to horse trailers that kind of thing so they are they are in trouble they are terrified and this is why we don't get puppies from anywhere out of the state. They have to get to us quick and we have to uh, provide them attention uh, immediately. Uh, so we avoid all those puppy mills, those farms. Sometimes those farms have hundreds, thousands of dogs. But anyway, it is for others to do. I don't want anything to do with that. If I had to, if I didn't have breeders, local breeders in, 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 in the area, then I would quit my business, I can tell you that. I would not go and buy from those places. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I feel too bad for those little puppies. We love the, the stuff that we do. We love the customers. I've been doing this for 30 years. It took me a long time to come up with this, uh, uh, put together a really good organization that can supply a decent amount of puppies to loving homes, people that really want a puppy. And those are the people that come to us. They are willing to pay for a good, healthy, socialized puppy. They get to us, they get checked by the vet, they get everything they need, but they will have to stay with us at least 10 days. Because when they come from the breeders, they're not always socialized. Most of the time they are not. Uh, they 
are better than the ones from the puppy mills, but they only been touched by that one person that is in that house or maybe two persons, I don't know. But so they not used to being touched by different people. So when they come to us for 10 days, they're touched every day by multiple people that work at my place. We open for business uh, three days a week, which is uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when we sell the puppies. But the puppies are being touched and played with every day until they leave. Usually when they leave, they're very healthy, very confident, very playful. They are exactly what people are looking for, a happy, healthy puppy. That's what we do. So we don't deal with puppy mills, we don't deal with brokers, and we don't ship anything, and we don't have anything shipped to us. Shipping is the same thing. They are people that uh, go online on these websites and uh, order puppies through the website. But the websites are not much different than the puppy mills. And man, many of them uh, come through pop, uh, from puppy mills anyway. But uh, going to a website, think about this too. You go to a website and you see a picture of a puppy. But you cannot touch that puppy. And you have no idea where that puppy comes from. Okay? They may tell some of these websites, there's some large companies with the webs, big websites online. And those people may tell you, you may call, let's say, from, uh, from, uh, from, from Georgia and say, do you have any breeder in Georgia with the uh, Yorkies? And they may say, oh, yeah, we have plenty. Yes, yes. And then you order, uh, they'll show you pictures or whatever. And those pictures may be old. They may be five years old for all I know. Okay, but they'll show you a picture of a beautiful puppy. You say, okay, I want this puppy. It's from Georgia. Yeah, that's good. I live here too. So I want this puppy. Before you know it, after you put a deposit or whatever, you may get an email or a call. Say, oh, I'm sorry, but we didn't realize that puppy was sold. But we do have one in Kentucky. Or we have one. Uh, we have a breeder here, a breeder there, whatever it is. But all of a sudden, you're not getting the puppy that you thought you were going to get. You're going to get a different puppy. And in many cases, with smaller websites, smaller uh, breeders and stuff, you put money in there and you get zero. You don't get a puppy and you don't get your money either. Okay, there's plenty of scams online. So you have to be careful about that. But if you do get it online, the situation is not much different than the ones that travel uh, through uh, uh, states in a, in a livestock trailer. It's not much different. It takes less time because it's in a plane. But you do have to carry the puppy to the plane, to the airport. It usually it's a separate area that you go to. And you have to arrive there at least four hours earlier. Usually it's done very early in the morning. Uh, so you have to arrive there with the puppy at least four hours earlier. So the puppy is going to be in that cage by himself or herself for all those hours plus the flying time and plus the time there is at the airport for to be picked up. So they are there too, very scary because they are bumping, uh, bounced around and all kinds of stuff happening. And I mean, there's nothing else that can be done. That's what happens. This is what it is. And uh, I, I would just be careful about it. So buying online, it's at your own risk. Buying from a, a, a regular store, usually buying from a puppy mill. Buying from us, you buy buying from a local breeder. Guaranteed, local breeder. All our puppies come from those breeders in Georgia. And usually is within short distance. So we provide great, healthy uh, puppies and playful. Uh, the, you know, that's what we do. So we open three days a week. You're welcome to come in. Um, we put a video online every week, every week about Wednesday. At the end of Wednesday, if you check on, on, on Thursday, usually on Thursday, there's a new video there with the new puppies, the puppies for that week. Because we sell very fast. We sell our puppies sell very fast and that's why we open only three days a week so if you want a nice healthy puppy you can get it from there you can see our videos at least you see the puppy playing not just a picture of the puppy as other place show you just the picture you see our puppies live right there and if you decide to put a deposit on one there is a microchip identification on the puppy so the puppy has an ID it's not microchip that has a number. 
that number will be on your deposit slip and that number will be on your paperwork when you pick up the puppy. So we don't ship, we don't accept shipments, we just wanna make people happy, so we do it what we think is the right way. So if you like a healthy puppy, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the time. So God bless you and good luck. Uh, hope to that you find what you're looking for. Thank you.